Morgan Rich Show on a Wednesday. Glad you're with us. We appreciate it as always, and we are yet another day closer to the opener. Now just nine days away, San Diego State at Stanford. Offensive coordinator Jeff Horton now joining us on the show. Coach, really great to have you. Uh, would love your reaction to last weekend. You know, Rocky was 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 very upfront that he did not sound thrilled with some of the things that happened on offense. What was your take? <laughs> Well, he, that's that's an understatement. It was a nightmare on offense, uh, you know. But um, obviously, we uh, got our tails kicked that night. Great job by the defense. Uh, we just had to clean up some things, and I think we've uh, addressed those issues that we need to address this week in practice. I know the kids will rebound. Uh, since I've been here, I mean, it's never been like we've gone up and down the field against them, whether it's been a spring game or a, a fall scrimmage and everything. So we're just trying to do the things that we do during the season to, you know, run our plays and, and not really scheme up things or anything and uh, running the things that will help us as we move on, you know, to Stanford and everything. So I look forward to be ready to go next Friday night. It's exciting. And, uh, you know, our kids are working hard and can't wait. Yeah, there's no question about it. That's going to be a big one for you guys to open the season on the road in that fashion. You know, my co-host here, actually has been weighing in with some thoughts, things that you might uh, need to throw the football a little bit more after having the NCAA career rushing leader and the NCAA single season rush leader last year. Uh, how would you like to respond to Mark? Wow. Hey, he's drinking the same Kool-Aid everybody else is out there. Everybody wants to see all these passes in the area. They don't They don't care that we won 11, 11, and 10 games. It's everybody asking when we're going to start throwing the ball. But, uh, you know, we're going to do what we do, and that's, you know, we want to be a physical downhill running football team, play action pass, and when opportunities present themselves, obviously we'd love to get big chunks in the air down the field because it's hard consistently consistently to run the ball up and down the field. But I feel good. Uh, you know, Christian's, you know, done a remarkable job here. You know, be hopefully soon the all-time win as quarterback in the history of the school. and. Uh, like I say, you know, I'm not real smart, but when the head coach is also a D coordinator, last thing I'm going to do is go out there and throw it around and go no huddle and be off the field in 20 seconds and have him <laughs> looking at me like, you know, what the heck are you guys doing? So we're going to slow it down. I think um, last year, if I remember right, we had the ball, I think, for 41 minutes against Stanford and mm. ran 80-something plays, and I think the defense only had 44 plays. So that's a good formula, and hopefully we can repeat that. Yeah, I remember the night well. It was a longer night with the blackout, too. And then, of course, the score on the other side of that. But, you know, I, I'm thinking about what you just said, wanting to be a downhill ball possession offense, running the ball as well as you do. Are you flattered by the rest of the Mountain West? It feels like it's starting to change and look more like what you've you've done with the offense with San Diego State. Yeah, no doubt. They uh, You see it more and more. And Things go in cycles, you know, we just kind of stuck to the old school and running, uh, you know, trying to keep still believing in time of possession, ball security, those kind of things. So it's, that's been important to us. We think it's part of the formula to win under Coach Long's, you know, leadership and guidance and then, you know, play great defense, obviously. And, uh, you know, you're seeing a few more teams trying to do that and, and uh, uh, you know, certainly doesn't surprise me. Jeff Horton, offensive coordinator, San Diego State, joining us. And, uh, Coach, let me expand on my passive-aggressive co-host over here on what I actually was asking about. And it has nothing to do it has nothing to do with what I want to see or even what fans want to see. I do. I wonder, though, like when you guys recruit quarterbacks, is there a thought in the future? Rocky, last time he was on, even brought up the Big 12, you know, years down the road. Is there a thought – that that an evolution on that front would ever need to take place. Well, I mean, I mean it's just conf conflicting styles. I mean, are, are we ever going to be a team that's you know going to throw the ball all over the yard and do those kind of things? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, you know, coach's philosophy and and my philosophy certainly don't uh, you know head head that way. But you know, you never say never. Who knows what can happen down the road? But. We feel we get the quarterbacks or the players that want to be here. You know, if they're concerned about how many passes they're going to catch or how many yards they're going to throw for them, we're probably recruiting the wrong guy. We want team guys that are unselfish, and our guys have bought into that in the, in the coach's uh, mentality. They take on his aura, so to speak, being tough, physical guys, competitive guys, and, and that's what we've been able to win with. Yeah, and, you know, just as far as your running back room that you've uh, headed up over there, it's been Penny, it's been bought in at the fullback position, 
Donnell Pumphrey a year ago, Ronnie Hillman a little ways back. You've had a lot of success in the run game. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And speaking of Rashad Penny, have you spoken to him yet? I know he just underwent surgery. Have you gotten in touch? Yeah, we've texted with each other. I know he had surgery, uh, what, a week ago on Tuesday, uh, yesterday. Uh, he seemed to think that he'd be ready to go for the season, so I think it's hopefully just a temporary setback. But hearing the reports from him and a couple of coaches there, they said he was doing a you know a good job up there. Coach, uh, Rashad Penny, a couple of years ago, uh, put up a lot of yards, even though he was the number two guy. And then last year, same for Jawan Washington. And I know Jawan got last weekend off because he is the starting guy. Uh, of that group that's battling to be the number two, how would you handicap it right now? Well, I think Chase Jasmine is probably the guy that consistently has shown the uh, most upside through camp. You know, he's our number two guy right now. Uh, Chance Bell and Kagan Williams, uh, two redshirt freshmen, are are pushing for time. You know, it's a good situation to be in. Like I tell them, hey, make it hard on me. But it's then it's my job. I always say, if guys work hard and practice, do what they're supposed to do, then I got to be creative and find a way to get them in there. Much like we did with Juwan a couple years ago, as our fly sweep, you know, reverse kind of guy, play action guy, and the way Rashad was when he was a sophomore and, and Pump when he first started up. So we'll always find a role for those guys. And, and uh, you know, I'm a big believer that the more you get them on the field, uh, you know, the more comfortable they are. And I think that's why there's been a, a good run of them, because even though they're supposedly number two, really, to me, they're 1A, 1B, and, and uh, they, they really help the team win. You know, Coach, it feels like uh, you've stocked the pond again at the position because even a name you didn't mention, Jordan Hill, a true freshman out of New Mexico, really flashed during Fan Fest uh, on Saturday. Uh, how about him? Could he see any time? I know you guys don't typically love to play true freshmen, but he's got some speed. Yeah, with the new rule this year, you know, you got a chance to play them in four games. Oh, there you go. you got to kind of, you know, look at those. Uh, you know, it's hard to visualize sometimes because for – I've been coaching 38 years, but it's always been where, you know, a guy can't play if they're going to redshirt. Well, now you can play four games, so you got to kind of, you know, reboot on your mind. And with a mind like mine, it's hard to reboot. So uh, we got to figure out ways to, to get them in there. And, and, and Jordan Bird from New Mexico, you know, he won the state championship there at 10 3 100 meters. You know, obviously, uh, you can't coach that kind of speed. So hopefully, we can be able to do some things with them to help us. Jordan Bird, that's right. Yeah, no, you really look good. Uh, well, well, hey, look, we're looking forward to the season coming up, and uh, go get them next Friday night up there in Palo Alto. Yeah, we're really fired up about it, and you never know. We might come out and empty and throw it 60 times a game, so make sure you're watching. <laughs> I, I cannot wait for that. That's going to be amazing. Um, sign me up. I'm going to go buy tickets right now. Thank you, Coach. <laughs>